project for today bathroom floor renovating removal and replace today we're going to concentrate on getting it tore out and put back actually not put back we're going to just tear it out we're going to get rid of the vanity bunch of screws pull it out of here it's garbage undo the sink from the vanity remove the toilet remove the tub the surround will probably leave let somebody else handle that or maybe tear it out if we have to all right it's going to be a small little space to work in so i hope i can get as much of this video as i can we're also going to be coming out into this hallway floor because it's got problems hopefully not into the bedrooms we don't know what's going on yet just got here today for the first time okay there's no water in the toilet probably not going to be very hard to remove that although we got a couple bolts down there that oh i should have brought that other grinder it's garbage we can just break it you know what i mean just bust it that's what we're gonna do so we got, that's a little tight spot to work in but might as well start by this getting them screws out of underneath that thing, figuring out what we're gonna do to loosen the sink up. Probably just screws, screw, this screws. Uh, feels like a quarter driver bit. Yeah, let's take that off. Get out of our way. Probably just hit it with a hammer and bang it in just to, that bit would help them. You have a Phillips head if you just put the put it in there and tap it in that will give you if it's all painted that'll give you uh, something to grab a hold of paint is covering it you don't want to strip the screw out so best thing you can do is tap it in get ready to get that paint tapped in and then take your drill and go from there it's in the way it's got to go Got a transition strip that's got to go. This carpet's got to be peeled back. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Just remember, if it's made of wood, you can fix it. If it's made of wood, you can fix it. First thing we got to do is get rid of this. I didn't, I didn't bring a flashlight, so I have to look up under. I've seen some screws in the back, but I think yeah. the sink is also, it might be quarter driver bit though. Right. I think I brought one of them in my pocket. I brought something that will work anyways. Oh, somebody told me, said on one of my videos, um, I don't normally comment on a video, he said, but man, you guys, you guys are amazing. He said, I appreciate the videos that you're putting out. It really has helped me a lot. He said, and uh, give Paul a raise. <laughs> <laughs> give Paul a raise, he says. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Yeah, they might. I mean, I don't know if they're going to mean anything to him, but... today today and tomorrow and a couple of days of mobile home floors to do very busy you're here and I want to be stack it up brother stack it up you called me at 10 o'clock last night to tell me that I thought it was something important
Yeah, it's number one. It's a number one bit. Yeah, okay. Alright. It's gonna come apart one way or the other. It's all just a bunch of staples. Yeah. Everything's stapled. What is that hammer? Yep. That's what I would do. Start busting it apart. Take it apart a little piece at a time. They're not made to come out of these places once they put them in, Bo. Put that wood to your right side, Paul. Instead of your left side. Paneling. Cabinet from paneling. And they're made of paper. Not wood, I don't think. No room in there for two people, so I'm gonna be the ground man. And the video guy. There's one missing. Should probably put them back so we don't lose them. This place is a mess. Takes a square bit to um oh she's stapled to death. That's what you're gonna find. You're gonna find lots of staples. This is basically the same stuff that floor is made out of, ain't it, Paul? Yeah. This is garbage. So mobile home floors are made of exactly what you're looking at right here, and when they get wet, they fall apart. It's the same thing they put on the floor right there. It's garbage. Such garbage. Anyways, I'll see you in a minute. Oh, she's stapled to death. That's what you're gonna find. You're gonna find lots of staples. This is basically the same stuff that floor is made out of, ain't it, Paul? Yeah. This is garbage. So mobile home floors are made of exactly what you're looking at right here, and when they get wet, they fall apart. It's the same thing they put on the floor right there. It's garbage. Such garbage. Anyways, I'll see you in a minute. Damn, Paul, you just got here. Some damn duct tape. Yeah, of course. You can't. That stuff's the worst glass in the world. First thing you get cut on is that stuff right there. Watch, watch your feet. Yeah, I tried to drain all the water out of it. coming out unless that surround comes down. That's why the flange look like it does right there. It has to accommodate the edge of the tub where it turns up. So unless that's cracked, your tub should not be leaking. A lot of people think, oh, my tub's leaking and they caulk all around that bottom edge. It's not necessarily made to be that way. It glued? Uh -huh. Not no more.
floor. Break them sides so they're smaller. piece of uh, quarter inch Luan or something down over the old particle board floor which is a no-no ever I've had a lot of people on my channel ask me should I put a layer of Luan on top or even a layer of half inch or whatever and I'm like no 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 don't ever do that yeah, yeah underneath is just gonna be falling out of it so get rid of this old stuff and put new so the answer to that is no. The underbelly is gone. They got a lot of work to do here. We got a lot of work to do. Why? Oh, my hand, <laughs> That's amazing. How's that exterior band? Solid. Solid. Yeah. Fortunate. Because that's all. Nothing else holding anything else up. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. What's holding it up? Nothing. That's it. From here to there. To there. Nothing. Yeah. That's where your beans at. That's insane. Absolutely insanity. Yeah. Wow. It is. Hmm. Hanging up two foot. See yeah. how far she's sliding down. Gracious. The whole house hanging out two feet. Look, that water pipe still got water coming out of it. Which one? That one right there, leaking like crazy. I'm watching it. Yeah. I got the water off. Ain't coming out here? No. Nice. Just whatever's in the line. No, it's dripping down there. Yeah. Hmm. It's still dripping there. You don't want that going into the room. Huh? Don't want that going into the room. Huh?
Yeah, it's right. Okay. Oh yeah. Definitely got something living under here. Well, probably pretty big, so maybe raccoon. But uh, yeah, whatever it was, was definitely camping out right there. Raccoon condo. This thing. Look at that. It's so good. That is thick. <laughs> yeah. Lord have mercy, Paul. When it gets that thick, it's no good. Yeah, it's time to change the floor about a year ago. Yeah. It's been getting wet for over a year. Just by the color of it. It should be tan, not dark brown. Yeah. It'll be a light tan color. It's a little small in here. <laughs> Not to mention there's no place to stay in. No, no, I'll cut it out. Alright, I'm clean. <laughs> Know if it's on top of that floor though it's probably under that floor right there too oh, yeah. Not about it. yeah yep let's get over there and find out what's going on came out quite a bit though that's the luon they put on top yeah that's that here yeah it's good here I, I just hope it is that's all i can yeah. hope there's a there's a somewhat of a line right there. Yeah. Maybe we could cut to or find out where's four feet in this hallway. Yeah, that's what we grab a tape measure. If we're under four feet, we'll go to that line right there, just darken that line and cut it. We didn't bring the fine tool, did we? No. Staples everywhere. wood chips out from around it so you can get a hold of them with more than likely a pair of pliers you got to get it to where you can get a hold of them or grab them there's going to be uh, flooring all around them Everywhere. One of the first things you'll notice on these mobile homes is there's nothing. There's not anything around the walls to nail your new flooring down to. Nothing at all. That means you're going to have to put it back. That means framing to accept new plywood. If you decide not to go to the outside wall, you can do that. And I'll show you probably that on this one. We'll just block right, right across that line right there. If we can, we're gonna see if that's a possibility. Find out when we get there what works out the best. There's more than one way put your blocking like I say I'm just trying to um, get the wood off the floor joist so we can get to the staples because I'm going to use another tool to pull them up Just a pair of pliers. Pliers. 
can't get a hold of it if the wood is all in your way. So that's part of what takes so long. Getting everything ready for your new plywood. <laughs> look back at my other videos you'll see that I only use one type of flooring and I do that because it will never go away on you again so use what's never gonna have to be replaced even if it gets wet even if it gets wet as bad as this one it would never happen so use the correct type of subfloor on your mobile home repair or you'll pay later and do it again so isn't that right Paul you will pay later and do it again pull them out use another tool to smooth them out. A grinder. Nothing special. using the tool backwards so that I can use this section for leverage to pull the staple. Easiest way I've ever found to do it. Use, use the tool for leverage. Pop right out. I hate staples. I hate them, everybody. Don't use staples. If you, don't, if you can get away with it, don't use them. We got the bathroom tore out. I'm working on cleaning up the staples. We knew the hallway had some problems, but we didn't know how much. We were hoping that it stopped here because feeling it from right here, it feels pretty solid. <coughs> After taking up the linoleum, uh, the uh, quarter inch Luon, we realized you can tell it goes past that. That's what it should look like if it's dry and it hasn't been wet. That's the color. This is the color of wet wood and you can see that it continues to go. So, because of that, we're gonna go ahead and remove this piece of underlayment and um, see what we find out there. So we'll be back in a minute. 
At least we don't have to cut that one out. Yeah, right? Yeah. Glad to hear that. Good. That's a good thing. You ain't got much. <laughs> tearing out, tearing out. Cutting and cutting. Okay. And some more cutting. Sand. <laughs> Sanding. Notice, Paul. Probably going this way. Is it really? Yeah. Uh, I don't do that very often, do they, Paul? No. Just enough battery to finish this off. <laughs> I mean, just finished. Didn't get that, but. Yeah, see, you want to see that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh. I know something. It's supposed to be a 10 foot trailer and they made it a 12 foot trailer. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is.
me. Here's coming up. Dave's coming up. Yep. They went in on me. Wow. What are you going to do with it? No. A little bit at a time. Yeah, had a little bit of life under here. Yeah. A little bit of life. Every trailer I've been under so far, I've always found raccoon condos. Oh, yeah. yeah. Every one. Yeah. When you find a money flat, that raccoon. Yeah. Let's do it down. Damn it. Close the door on myself. Yeah, I think that was a possum. A dead possum. Possum, raccoon, gun. Whatever it was, it was nasty. <laughs> I got him out. Paul, Paul did pull him out. I wouldn't have done it. All right, so we got the bathroom out. We've gotten the hallway out to where it stops. And obviously you can tell the difference between wet wood and dry wood. So we fortunately had a spot right here that it stopped at, which is what I initially... Uh, had talked to the homeowner about and said we probably had I also mentioned that it could go into the bedroom because this was so wet I can only imagine that behind this wall since it's only separated by three inches the floor would be soft and what somebody has done sometime in the past has come in here and this is not the original carpet although I thought it was because of the way it looks it looks pretty original um, but it's either original or they cut it back um, and put Luan or quarter inch stuff mm -hmm. over the top of this old of this old flooring that I would never cover with anything. Underlayment. Underlayment. <laughs> yes, they put some type of quarter inch underlayment on top, and then they put their carpet back on here. So yeah, so that makes it really hard to tell if you're having problems with your floors because of that underlayment being there so we found out that it is so we're coming into the room it's basically the whole moral for that story we're taking it apart we're going to take it all apart and if we're going to start it we might as well do the whole room no matter how much of it's bad go ahead and do the whole room so you don't have to come back again later and do it again so we use Adventac or Vantac flooring so it's really the best if it gets wet again from the top or the bottom it's not going to go away is it Paul? Nope, it will not. It will not go away I'm telling you it's the best stuff on the market. Want gloves? That's a bad insulation. That stuff makes you eat. The rough stuff. Yeah. If you sweat. Mm-hmm. Not the good stuff. That's not the good stuff. Yeah, the stuff they make nowadays isn't near as bad as it used to be. No, it's paper. It's not very bad. bad. Mm-hmm. 